Hello, thank you for joining us. We're going to stay in Deuteronomy 28. I want to move down to verse 20. We've been talking for the last couple of weeks about all the blessings that come from the Lord. But sometimes people might decide to go their own way. I, as a minister of the gospel, want to make sure you understand. I want to make sure I understand. I want to make sure all of us understand what happens when we go our own way. And when we choose not to follow the commands of the Lord, we choose not to follow what he's called us to do. And, and Deuteronomy 28 verse 20 says this, The Lord himself will send on you curses, confusion, and frustration in everything you do until at last you are completely destroyed with doing evil and abandoning me. The Lord is saying he will take his hands off of us. If we go our own way, he lets us go our own way. But trust me, these are the things that are waiting for us. Confusion, frustration. You ever start something and you couldn't finish it? You ever started something and knew that you had everything in place and yet it never happened? But yet here we are. Jesus is saying, just follow the commands. Our Lord tells us to follow the commands and get the blessings. He's, he's imploring us. He's telling us, don't, don't go our own way. Don't, don't go down the path that we think we want to go, away from the path of God, to do our own thing, to, to, follow our, to follow the sin path, that wide, wide path of sin that is so easy. It is so easy to, to fall into sin and stay there. Don't drown in the mud puddle of sin. It's okay. Turn around. Get up. Step out. Because the Lord is waiting. All we have to do is repent. But I want us in 2024 to get the blessings and not the curses of the Lord. And we can do it just by following his commands. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.